Oh, what is going on guys, this Royal Fox here today, back again with another FIFA 23 Rams Revival, Derby County, Career Mode Safe, Season 4, Episode 11 today, and once again we are in for an absolute cracker of an episode, lots of big games to play, starting off with the East Midlands Derby at home at Pride Park versus Nottingham Forest, as we welcome them. And we do have a few days after that, we have a semi-final trip to Wembley to face West Ham in the FA Cup semi-finals. That was a play West Ham, Norwich play Leicester. Interesting stuff, all to play for. Third game of the episode, we have our first leg semi-finals match in the Europa League against Rangers. The other game is Hellas Verona Sport in Lisbon. So again, that's another cracker to start first three games and then the fourth game we'll be we will be having a trip to the Etihad to play at Manchester City as you can see well say back end of April we've got May to play possibly two cup finals finish the league off with the remaining games so we're going to do four games again in today's episode so it is going to be very difficult and very exciting hopefully half well hopefully we get to the final in the FA Cup and defend our title and hopefully we get halfway through to a final in the Europa League. So that would be nice indeed. It's just very difficult indeed. But we're going to fight. We're going to try. And we're going to hope for the best. We'll say Manchester City are on course for winning the league. 32 games played. 80 points. We're sitting third on 60 points. But you never know. What can happen? We might be on 60 points, but there's a bit of a battle from 4th and 3rd at the minute between Man United, Arsenal and Spurs and Chelsea and Newcastle Cup with the Dark Horses. As The points total always seems very close at a certain point, but it is what it is. So towards the bottom end of the table, we've got Brentford, who look destined for relegation this year. They did offer me a contract, a managerial opposition, but we turned it down. We're at Derby County, so sorry any Brentford fans. Blackburn, I've got a bit of a fight to do for the last five five games of this season to get to the 30 point mark which Burnley's on Fulham's down there Shane's I don't know how Fulham are down there they have our super striker Benjamin Sesco in their team and he's down there the, the Fulham as a team are down there so it's sad to see but hopefully you never know we might be able to get him next year he really enjoyed Benjamin Sesco here last year with us it was a great team player to the squad but yeah, I think generally looking at the squad, just doing a review on why these keep popping up all the time. Uh, and once again, the game's broken. There we go, you go back out. Ollie Watkins on 51 goals in 43. What a season, what a season. 51 goals, 19 assists. Eight clean sheets. Dante Van Zanier. 19 goals, 9 assists. He's been a, been a bit of a dark horse the second half of the season. He had a slow start to the season, but he's come back into it. Sibley stepped up as well, as obviously we've had to sacrifice Vega with the injury. Even Diallo stepped up quite a bit in the European games. Made a stand for himself. And obviously, he's performed better. And Collado did miss a few months of the season, but he's been all right for what he's played. And Marliake, January signing, absolutely wonderful. Seven goals, seven assists in 16. Can't complain. And the rest of the team, I just appreciate their efforts. But yeah, let's crack on in today's episode. Two giants of football going head to head today. The atmosphere is electric. So many stars on show and everyone is excited and ready for this one. Coming up next, don't go anywhere. Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. My name is Derek Ray and my commentary partner as usual is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Derby County versus Nottingham Forest. Thanks Derek as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Oli 
Osborne giving it a try well marginally wide Holly Watkins the supporters want to see him have a go and the goalkeeper has me Ake easy meet for the goalkeeper now looking dangerous here simple save really Hamer and the keeper making sure that there were no scraps disappointment last time out they lost in the game against Liverpool and it's got to be there it is the first goal in the derby a special moment And they couldn't add to their advantage. Wing end to the move. Opportunity it is. Oh, a save of the highest order. Well, he got his angle. Will it be? Oh, magnificent reaction. The players waiting in the middle. This could level it. Oh, but the keeper with an important save. Threatening. And it's gone in. And he's celebrating with good cause the goal to break the record. Will he go? Oh, surely! You certainly can't fault them for trying as they keep... Can he finish? And it's come off the keeper! Really sound goalkeeper, he Well, what a game that should be. Played in a great atmosphere and the... Hang on a minute, Stuart. Opportunity unfolding. And a goal to put the final stamp on it. That will do it. For stoppages. And that puts them in position. He's managed to get in behind. He's gone and found the net! Brilliant piece of finishing! Magnificent goal! Whistle, and the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces. Well, Derek, they were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances. We saw an attack which was always threatening, and they played really well. What a performance that was today. Well, he put in a really thorough performance here, Stuart. Well, he did everything today. His energy, skill and movement was just too good for those defenders. It was a really good display. Are really jangling now. Just four teams left in the FA Cup and the stage is set for an enthralling semi-final here at Wembley. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Uh, just the sort of weather you would order on a trip to Wembley. Perfect playing conditions in London today. I'm Derek Ray, in position to bring you live match commentary. And my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. And we have action from the semi-final stage of the FA Cup just moments away. It's Derby County up against West Ham United. Well, Derek, semi-finals are usually tense affairs. The winners can look forward to a great occasion in the fun. The losers are completely forgotten. The contrast in emotions is immense. Let's hope it's a semi-final that everybody remembers. And here's how it looks for Derby County. Sané. Morata! And just putting it over the top. Well, he's certainly weighed in with his fair share of now, goals. Now, hold on, Stuart. They're in here. In it goes! But wait a minute. That will not count. Well, that was tight. But he was just offside. It was a good finish, though. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Can he put them in front? And a goal! Outcome not good enough defensively. Oh, good vision. And that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. And not an effort that will live long in. Lanzini. Couldn't grab hold of it. And holding on to it at the. And the pass was just that little bit off. Nearly found its target. Here's Fabinho. Oh, surely! And still danger here. But frustration for those waiting in the middle. A complete miscue by the goalkeeper. Will there be a price to pay? And the goalkeeper... 
has a go and the keeper's hand does the trick Watkins oh not to be that would have put them well on their way Stuart what can they do from here well he didn't miss by all that much well he struck being egged on by the crowd and a goal their advantage and who's to say they won't be going to the final at this rate can he convert well decent save there takes the shot couldn't quite finish from this position and he's through here well the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend possibilities here Well, they won most of the individual battles all over the park today and that was key to their comfortable win in the end. It was a really composed display in a very important game and they'll certainly fancy their chances in the final. But it just seems in this game he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Yeah, I think the only thing you could question, could he have been a touch more clinical in front of goal? Maybe should have had two or three today. Regardless of that, it was a good performance and a great result. To get to the nitty-gritty now, only four teams remain alive in the cup and the scene is set for what should be an exciting semi-final. Who will make it through? Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Please contact your nearest security guard. Thank you. And hello from Govan with its strong shipbuilding tradition on the south side of Glasgow. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and sitting alongside me the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson. And only four teams are left who are at the semi-final stage of the UEFA Europa League. It's Rangers and they take on Derby County. Well I'm looking forward to this one. Both sides have done really well in getting... Well, not a bad plan of action, but through to the goalkeeper it goes. Spurs have been confirmed. He has elected to end his illustrious career. Wonderful chance! And a decent save. Cheek. Well, flinging himself at the ball. Well, fair play. He took on the shot, but he's not going to be happy with how it ended. Promising sequence. Cross fired over. But it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it was played over. Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Opportunity! Just had to keep his concentration to the maximum, and he did. Now the team's on. He's in with a chance. And a goal! The opener in the semi-final! First goal of the contest! A real opening now. And another one. Two quick goals. Will it turn out to be the two-punch knockout? The cross is on. Play towards the back post. Look as though they had attacking momentum. Loftus cheek. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. And saved by the keeper. Can someone get on the end of this? A goal! And it seems they're truly cruising to victory here. Has eyes for goal. Well, no surprise to see him go for goal. The high press was very much on. Can they put it away? In position. In it goes. Such a complete performance. Four in front now. Power and accuracy. No well, oh, he's through on goal here, Derek. Still possibilities to get onto this. A goal! We're really being spoiled. This is attacking football at it. To pass. Flinging himself at it, the keeper. Substitution for. That strong goalkeeping after the corner had been delivered. Well, it could be on for him here. Well, the keeper had a lot of ground to cover. And over it comes of the contest and a fine result for the away fans and if they can repeat this sort of performance on home soil then they will surely be going through
Well, they were really good today. Their approach play, their movement off the ball, and of course their finishing were excellent, as was their work rate. A disciplined performance in the second leg, and they're into the final. His performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well. Should be something to savour. The best defence in the league up against the freest scoring team in the league. Who will come out on top? Stay with us. We'll have all the action for you live right here on EA TV. And to know from Manchester, it's an ideal day for football here at the Etihad Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Manchester City, and they take on Derby County. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Good luck. Manchester City. Esch. Well, that's a super ball over the top. Kevin De Bruyne with the goal. Both. Ziyech. Surely. Oh, that's a fine save. An issue here. And a penalty it is. Well, when you're behind in the game, you certainly don't want to be conceding spot kicks. Well, there might have been a case for a yellow. Well, Derek, it's a foul, yes. A penalty, absolutely. And that is when you need your goalkeeper. He's a brilliant finisher. I'm oh, sure. Stuart, they've got to score. And just narrowly wide. And he... Oh, big chance. In it comes. Must be. And quite... Happy to take on the shot. Well, it's smack. Defenders need to cover. And cuts inside. Has a go. And a goal! Not over just yet. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Big chance. And a fine stop to turn the ball away. Actually appears to be more than a rumour. What's your take, Stuart? Must score. And a goal is it. They are the creative look about this. All that hard to deal with. Well, right the supporters think it's on. A real opening now. Ziesh. Oh, could be. And able to close down the shot. Holland. Well, clearly. Foden. Easy save for them on the break. Can they take advantage of the situation? That really would have changed for Long Stewart. Well, there are two main reasons why they're losing this game. Firstly, they've not shown enough desire to close the up. In it goes again, apparently. Can he take advantage? And the keeper more than equal. Going to be that. Well, a tale of woe in terms of the scoreline as far as the visitors are concerned here. Well, Derek, that just wasn't good enough today. A lack of a game plan, too many players below par, and not enough energy all around the pitch. A really worrying performance for me. For this episode very promising episode so we can't complain started off against Nottingham Forest who are now down in 14th we did have a very convincing win 4-0 against them which was very nice then moving on we did have the FA Cup match which we'll get into in a minute and following that we had a Europa League match which we'll also want to get onto that in a minute but we ended the episode against Manchester City as 
they are the champions of the league. As you would have saw from their celebrations, they have all but won the league. It is virtually impossible for Liverpool to catch them now. But, yeah, that is it. You know, we've got a... We're down in fourth. We've got a fight. We've still got two games at hand, which are coming up very shortly. We've got two games at hand. Can we make them important? Can we, fi- can we fight for that third place as the teams are closing down on us? So let's get into the FA Cup. We have advanced through to the final. We beat West Ham 2-0 at Wembley. And Leicester beat Norwich 1-0. So has set up an East Midlands derby final. Very interesting indeed. A second cup final. Another trip to Wembley for the season. A second cup final to play. And has set up at East Midlands derby final. So it's going to be very tough there. And then the Europa League. Let's get into that. We've reached the final of the Europa League as well. You would have only seen the one leg of the Rangers match. But we are playing Sporting Lisbon in the final. So that is a very tough match to get into a final. So another final to play. That will be coming up very shortly. I mean, in another episode. But yeah, we won. We played Rangers at the Ibrox and we won 5 0. Very dominant performance. As soon as the first goal went in, it led to the second one going in very shortly after, and then we ended up winning 5 0. A very dominant performance. Very pleased with what we've achieved. And then I took a very risky move and I played the second team and I simulated the game at home and they won 3 1. But luckily, we've done all the hard work in the first leg and it secured us a 6 3 aggregate on a uh, 6 3 win on aggregate. And then, as you can see there, Sporting Lisbon or oh, just. Just scraped past Hellas Verona. They must have won 2-0 in the first leg. Sport in Lisbon to get 4-3. As if they've scored two goals for in that, that would take them to 4. And obviously Hellas Verona had a bit of a fight back. And took them to 4-3. But fair play to them. And just set up a final on the 27th of May. But yeah, things have been getting tougher and tougher this year. Uh, two games in hand are Crystal Palace and Chelsea. So in the next episode... It's going to be an FA Cup final to start, Arsenal, Wolves and the Europa League final. In between time, I'm going to go in advance from the Palace game and the Chelsea game. And we'll, update, we'll obviously update you that in the next episode. But back-to-back games mean, as things stand, we've lost two games in a row. But I thought it was a risky move. As you saw, mate, Forest beat Forest 4-0. Had a nice win against West Ham. A very dominant win against Rangers. Um, I thought we'd just simulate the second leg, just not to embarrass them, and then they actually turned up and beat us, so has put us into the final. So our first European final, we've uh, our first European season, and we've made it to the final. A second back-to-back FA Cup final season, so hopefully we can win that. Finances are flying high, got plenty of money in the budget, so hopefully that will benefit us next year. So... Yes, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed, please like and I'm out. Peace.